since we t- we are on the topic of guys playing with girls and girls playing uh, playing video games with girls. <laughs> 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 All right. Do hey, you yo. guys think that guys and girls can just be purely platonic friends? Yes, yes but, but they, they have, have to, to like both parties have to have some semblance of emotional maturity to like be platonic. I mean, I, I feel like there it's not always has to be like, oh, does this person like me? Or it's, it's, I think guys and girls can just be strictly friends. I also think so. But sometimes I feel like anytime I've heard something, it's always been the guy likes ends up liking the girl. It's always a lie. The guy yeah, liking the that's girl. What I, yeah. Okay. From like friends and stuff like that. I'll be like, oh, dang. And you don't even give off like the flirty vibe to like. So I'm just like, huh. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? Dep- uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Based <laughs> on what Erica said, I would just say I agree with what Erica said, but it's due to supply and demand. What? Do you Elaborate. know what I mean by that? Elaborate on that. If. All right. What is in demand? Beautiful women. Right? Beautiful women are in demand. So if the supply of beautiful women are low to a guy, he's going to go after his friends who are beautiful. Supply and demand, simple as that. But if a, hypothetically speaking, say a guy has a high supply of beautiful women, he probably is not going to, you know, be worried about having an attractive friend that's a girl and he's not, he's going to be okay with being platonic with them versus vice versa. It's not going to work like that. So the more supply someone has, yeah, probably it's okay. The less supply someone has, no, nah, it's not going to happen. What do you think, Brandon? I, I mean, my best friend is a girl, so I think, I think it can work. But I've, obviously, I've seen it happen to where, you know, you're just friends and then, like, in a friend group and then people start to have feelings. Don't get messy. It gets really, really messy. And, um... I don't know. I, I just think it's on the person, like how easily they catch feelings. Mm-hmm. I mean, if one person is, you know, <laughs> out there flirting and, and making it seem like there's something going on, like, okay, you know. So this is my two cents. I think that 90% of the time, guys and girls cannot be friends. 90% of the time. I think 10% of the time, um, they can be friends. The reason why I say 90% is I think that, generally speaking, say you have a friend group, if you have guys and girls, you spend enough time together, someone's going to catch feelings. Usually, I think you're right, Erica. I think it is usually, in most cases, the guy, right? But I think that if you, as a guy, have those boundaries set up in your mind where you don't cross those boundaries, you can do it. Like, y'all know me. Y'all never, ever see me ever, ever catch feelings with anybody <laughs> within the friend group. Right? Yeah. My best friend is a girl. And people have been telling me for years, y'all going to date. And I'm saying, y'all out your freaking mind. <laughs> it ain't happening. All right. For people, like, from, like generally, this, this is how I view it. Any female that enters a friend group immediately gets put into the friend zone bucket. And you don't leave the friend zone bucket. Nobody graduated from the friend zone um, class. Right, because you guys know I only date girls that are outside the friend the friend group. I've never ever gone for a female inside the friend group. Good for you. Yeah. Right, because that joke gets messy. Yeah. But generally speaking, I think that guys they can, and they can't. But usually they can't because someone always catches feelings. <laughs> right. Can I say an example? Go ahead. I just won't name names, but, but there is a yeah, yeah for sure. I think there's a girl that entered our friend group and um, <laughs> it was like a flock of the guys in our friend group just went to her and I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And yeah, I just feel like they tried to be friends, but then they all caught feelings. Okay. And now it's, they're all just, there's like only a few men standing. <laughs> <But only anyway. laughs> We're a rumble. <laughs> but yeah, like 
once they get over that bump, okay, maybe they can be friends. But okay, yeah, for sure, I think it's most cases the guy falls. Okay, I think that the only way that that you can that a guy can be friends with their um, female friends is a they don't find the girl attractive, mm -hmm. so they, you don't you have no resemblance or, or or attraction to them. So they immediately gets like that's a hard no. And two, like I said, boundaries. And then I think that three is if she was, uh, you know, she's off limits because of situations with your boys. Yeah. Right. So that's that's my case. Or like I said, you just know not to cross those boundaries. Or if you marry like this guy. <laughs> bro, <he's married. laughs> I would just I would just say just to play devil's advocate. I mean, all those things are very true. I'm just saying, just hypothetically, I'm gonna go back to the supply and demand thing, right? You're like, if the girl is attractive, right? But like, say a dude, like every single girl that he has, like every single girl in his friend group, just like disappears. Okay. Right? Everyone, everyone. So this man, or yeah, this man just has no friends anymore. Like for some, it got mad, they got snapped away like the Avengers. I'm just hypothetically speaking, all right? And then so now he has this one person. This one female or, you know, vice versa, they only have that one person left. Wouldn't they, like, biologically, they'd be like, well, my monkey brain is kicking in. I got to <laughs> reproduce. Or they're going to be like, nah, we, we bought it just a... Uh, the entire <laughs> human civilization is dead. And nothing is happening here. Is that what you're saying? A, uh, a Nikki. Is that what you're going to say for you, Jesse? No, like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to say, um, I just thought about this. I think that when you said all the dudes flocked to that girl, it happened when she dyed her hair and when she went when ABG mode. No, really? I think, well, I mean, she does get her hair done. I feel no. I feel like after like after she got her hair did and all that junk, that's when all the dudes came mm, coming. I don't know the timeline. Got hair did. <laughs> she was looking too good. So we'll snatch that weed. <laughs> but um, I will say I will on top of that. I think that um. Generally speaking, I think guys, um, I think the guys are a little more shy and like when you, it's easier to basically hit on a girl within the friend group because there's, you've already broken and broken that barrier and there's already that sense of familiarity, mm -hmm. right? It is hard as hell to approach, to cold approach women in like, in an outside setting because that takes courage, right? And most people are afraid of rejection. So they don't want to go through that and don't want to face rejection because let's be honest, people hate rejection. Yeah. Whether you're a guy, you're a girl. And so usually if you're going out, hitting the club, you know, you can go, or going to like a rave or whatnot, unless you got some, some, you know, unless you inebriated on something. Liquid <laughs> courage. Like Liquid courage, courage or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It is hard for a guy to cold approach a girl. And, you know, hey, there's, a, there's a cute little joint in your friend group. <laughs> you, you hang out a little too many times. Y'all be y'all be rapping, you know, got a little got some alcohol in your system. You know, the feelings come coming. I feel like it ruins the friendship though. With the group. That's but that's crossing what? the boundary yeah. though, right? But what if it what, what if it was mutual? What if what if it was a situation where, you know, they secretly both liked each other? That's good. Okay. Uh still messy, but <laughs> <laughs> he's like, whatever, it makes him happy. Yeah, but I mean, it could lead to problems like, you know, of course it leads to problems because someone will get their feelings hurt. Yeah. Especially in our modern day era where there's like people just, you know, dash and go, dash and go, you know, and it just and it just causes drama within the friend group. What do you mean? What is dash and go? What does that mean? Like door dash? What do you no, when I mean dash and go, it's like, um, you know, with, with the widespread like availability of dating and everything, dating apps, people want more options. People are afraid to settle down. Okay. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, people in general, I, if this is from my observation from like 10 years ago, people were more willing to like lock down. Mm -hmm. Now with like hookup culture being what it is now, people um, are afraid that they're settling. So they are basically constantly reaching for more. Even within a good situation, they keep going. So if they are, so say hypothetically, a guy and a girl catch, do catch feeling with a girl in the friend group. They start talking, have a little situationship, you know, start, they start canoodling, <laughs> right? <laughs> Guess what? He breaks their heart because, you know, he, 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 got, he had his eye on something else. I feel like yeah. it works sometimes. It, 
Depends. Like, if you were, like, best friends at first and then, like, you guys end up talking and sometimes you guys can be, like, just end up being friends again. I think that's possible. Uh, Is this from experience, Erica? Are you speaking from experience? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, you know, if it's your anecdotal experience, I believe you. Yeah, that's a long time. You know, but we were still friends after. Okay. But but in an instance where, like, Jesse says, like, if y'all don't end up, if, if y'all start dating or whatever, and regardless if you guys were best friends before it, what if you end up like, let's just say the guy cheats on you. I... So that leads to so many problems within the friend group because there's so much animosity from just between you two. You guys cannot hang out together as, as a friend group. And then it gets messy. It gets messy too. Think about it this way, because now everybody else in the friend group feels awkward associating with that who, person. Like you, you hanging out with that cheater? Or who do I hang out with? Exactly. Who do, do I, I hang out with? A or who do I hang out with B? 